Hello, mi amigos. Today, let's talk about winterizing some irrigation systems. So when I first started, I didn't have anybody that know YouTube, any of that, to show me how to do it. Uh, we took the Rainbird class thinking they'd show us. They didn't show us. Um, I think it's because there's so many different ways to do it. People debate it. Um, nobody wants to be responsible for broken lines, but I'll put out what we do, and it's on you to figure it out. Uh, you want at least 20 CFM. PSI is irrelevant. You want at least 20 CFM. That machine we got in the back puts out exactly 20 CFM. This system's probably a little too big for it, but it just means it takes me longer. When we get to the tow behinds next week, it, uh, I can blow this out about half the time of what this thing will. So hopefully you can hear me put that presser as loud. Anyway, step one, all right? You're gonna figure this out. You gotta find your irrigation control box. I would imagine everybody in the brother knows what that is. Step two, you better figure out where your main is for your irrigation. There's generally a one main for irrigation, one for the store, or wherever you're at. Sometimes there's a split off for the main, but yeah, test it. Make sure you don't shut off the whole place of water. Right there is our main for the irrigation. Right there is our tie-in. Right there is our backflow. Sometimes you don't have a tie-in, so you just tie into the backflow. Some people tell you that's a major no-no. Uh, I don't prefer it, but sometimes that's all you got. You can't patch in pieces while you're out blowing out systems. Um, let's see. There's other things you'll need to know. If a valve doesn't open, you got to find that valve and manually open it. But anyway, that you can figure that kind of stuff out. But then you come on over. This is how we do it. I'm on zone 10 now. There we go. Popping them. So I'll let it go until it blows them dry. I usually let the lines uh, kind of build back up pressure in between zones on a system this big. Uh, it helps pop them heads better and just last longer per zone. This system's really pushing it with that compressor. Um, I've never had a freeze break on a system. We've been doing it for 20, 22 years. Uh, but yeah. Yeah, so that's kind of the long and short of it, man. Uh, there's more research you'll have to do. Um, generally, your hose, a normal uh, compressor hose, literally screws right into the pet cops on your, your irrigation backflow. Uh, I can show you what that is. Now, one of the big things there is, on a system like this, if we didn't have that back point, you gotta figure out a way to get that line clean too. Otherwise, you're gonna freeze that line if we get a good freeze. Uh, it's going to be hard to hear, but I'm going to show you. If I was desperate and had nowhere to hook up, you could take that hose without any fittings on it, and that bad boy screws right into these pet cocks. So find your arrow on your, your back flow. It's right there. Water goes that way. You want, I would go through it. If you leave the back flow in, get this one, this one, this one, then you got to loosen this, some loosen this, put these at three-quarter turn. Put these little petcock, put a little flat head in there, three-quarter turn, uh, all the way open, it'll freeze open. So you want everything halfway open, closed, whatever. Um, but yeah, that's that's what we do, man. Um, toe behind, way better. Like I said, you generally, uh, ideal world, you're at 50, 50 CFMs and 50 PSI, but that's a... Uh, that's a tow behind compressor, which I don't know, it's hundred bucks a day. It's not a big deal. So anyway, there's my little piece for the day. I wish I had somebody to show me that crap to begin with. It would save me a lot of headaches, but the beauty of YouTube. All right, my friends, peace out.